district LOL number no. 6 had the honour of hosting the demonstration in the town for the first time since 2016. Here are your commentators, Mervyn Jess and Dr David Hume. Welcome to Limavady Town on the River Road, 17 miles east of the old city of Londonderry and 14 miles from Coleraine. As the head of the parade starts to make its way up the main street and as the spectators who are still standing on part of the street start to find their seats and their places along the route. Limavady is a, an area which dates from the plantation of Ulster in the early 17th century, settled by Protestant Scots who built the town's numerous Georgian houses and archways which uh, depict that particular town and its character. Its name in Irish is Limawadi, meaning the dog's leap, and that's derived from a gorge south of the town over which a dog of ancient times carried a message of impending danger. Joining me in the commentary position today is Dr. David Hume, an orange man himself and also an orange historian. David, this type of parade in the Mavadi is a little bit different in many respects from, for instance, the big city parades in the likes of, of Belfast, isn't it? Well, it would be, Mervyn. You, you get a greater variety of bands uh, to begin with because it's a shorter parade route, so you get a, a wider variety of bands that are out in these uh, country districts, and this is the Trench Memorial Band, for example, at the, at the head of the Limavady Parade. And this banner of the Analu True Blues has on the front of it aircraft of the Royal Air Force, the Royal Air Force base nearby the Mavadi throughout the war years. And the banner itself depicts that history which the town has with the Royal Air Force during that time. And we hear about the significance of that from the secretary of the Analu True Blues Lodge, Sam McGregor. In late 1940, RAF Limavady was constructed right on the doorstep of Anlu Orange Hall. The brethren felt that what they would like to do is to remember the service personnel from all parts of the world. I understand they came from Australia, New Zealand and Canada and served in RAF Limavady. So therefore the brethren felt it would be appropriate to include Anlu True Blues LOL Hall together with the three aircraft as a fitting tribute to all those personnel who served in that particular airfield. There's something about a pipe band on any parade that really stands out. Maybe because there aren't as many of them around it seems anymore, but they do make a particularly striking noise and obviously they're a great spectacle to watch what with their kilts, spottings and their bagpipes. Yes, and there are certainly some impressive pipe bands in this part of the world, uh, particularly in Donegal and Rafu, uh, Newton Cunningham, Manor Cunningham, those, those areas. And again, it brings that fla flavour of the Scottish connection. You have this strong tradition that still remains. King Billy, of course, William of Orange there uh, is probably be one of the most uh, often painted uh, images depicted on a banner, but yeah. there are all, all obviously other banners that have uh, images which are biblical, uh, to do with their teachings of the Bible, and uh, to do with uh, certain personnel that have been Lodge members or indeed uh, prominent citizens in the area. And certainly in this particular area, I imagine you'll find a few banners with the, the Reef of Derry or the Siege of Derry portrayed. Uh, on the banners as well, so local history uh, to the fore, and to me that's a, a really important part of it, that there's, a, there's a, a lot of history you can gather here if you stand and watch this parade go past. And there's a young man who knows what this day is all about, as far as he's concerned it's about getting out there, getting his stick out, and giving it a good twirl and then 
tossing it in the air and hopefully catching it before it hits the ground again. That's Cologne Purple Heroes with the purple collarettes going through your picture there. That's something which maybe some people don't understand. Why are they not all wearing the same colour of sash, the orange sash, if you like? The colours obviously relate to the different degrees within the uh, institution. So you've got orange and purple degrees, um, and those would be the two primary uh, colours. But there are lodges with blue sashes and, and also the title True Blues, which would suggest an older um, lodge. And at one stage when the Orange Order was formed at the start, there was uh, a number of degrees, including the blue degree, which is similar to the Sonic uh, Order with the blue degree. So the, uh, the lodge would have chosen then, uh, in that case, to have blue sashes, and uh, lodges would be down to matter of choice nowadays, I suppose, in terms of, of colours. And, uh, and the predominance is orange still, but you will find lodges that are called uh, purple in the title, they will want to have purple sashes. Now that's travelling in style. Yes, absolutely. Those ladies have got it sussed. Women's lodges in the Limavady area have been on the up, it would appear, in recent years, with a growing number of members. We hear more on that from Jennifer Tate, who's the worshipful mistress of Limavady Lodge. There was a women's lodge many years ago, but it folded. But my grandmother was the worshipful mistress in that lodge. So this lodge, um, WLOL 175, was instituted in um, November 1995. And I joined in 1999, so this is my 23rd year in the lodge. Not every uh, district has a woman's lodge and we are quite small in number at the moment but um, we're a good tight group and we're friends we're not just sisters in the lodge you know so. and true to their word the parade started on time and is going to finish on time it's taken about an hour to pass anyone's spot along this route and the people of Limavadi and all those taking part in this county demonstration of the 12th of July have had a marvellous time. Best foot forward, the orange returns. The 12th in Lima Valley was postponed twice thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. But finally it arrived in the town today with a bang. Very, very special uh, considering we've been unable to have our traditional 12th for two years. Uh, the last 12th we had was in Coleraine in 2019 and it's great to be able to have our normal, traditional 12th. This is the 12th for North London Dairy, hosted by Lima Valley District. 60 lodges took part, accompanied by 40 bands. Many began walking even before the main parade began. We start at uh, half past ten, uh, we walk the town, uh, we then take a wee break, we start again at twelve, we walk the town, we go up to the orange field, we have another break, and then we walk the town again, and then when all the other brethren from Londonderry and McCoskey and Corey have gone home, uh, we just walk the town again. Where are you all from then? Glasgow. It's coming from a city, we are loving love coming to the country. It's more of a family thing when you come to the country, isn't it? We are on the road for 75 years. Very special occasion to be going 75 years. And uh, especially with an accordion band. Nearly all flute bands now, but uh, the accordion bands are harder to keep on the road. Thousands packed the town and lined the route. Love the bands. Yeah, I'm enjoying just seeing people, the skill of it. It's just amazing. Yeah. What's it like to have the 12th back in Limavati? Fantastic. Well, after all that walking, they've reached the field, but it's really only half time. Quick break here, and they're going to do it all over again. 
on the return parade. But they've waited a long time for the 12th to return to Limavady and they're determined to make the very best of it. But